Hello, welcome back to another lesson in Vedic Astrology. In your computer horoscope, have you seen charts with uh, lots of numbers in them? These uh, number charts are called uh, Ashtaka Varga uh, because it has got something to do with um, eight, uh, it's an eight point calculation. So that's why it's called uh, Ashtaka Varga because Ashtaka means eight. And uh, it involves uh, the seven planets and along with the uh, Lagna. So you will find Ashtaka Varga for each planet, Sun, Moon, Mars up, up to Saturn. And then uh, you also, uh, if you add up the whole thing, you get uh, what is called the Sarva Ashtaka Varga, which is uh, Ashtaka Vargas combined. But in this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about the Ashtaka Varga of uh, Saturn or uh, Shani, which will come in very handy if you want to find uh, the results of uh, some and of your Saturn. How do we um, use the information on the Ashtagavarga of Saturn along with uh, the transit of Saturn? This is the uh, objective of this video. In one of the Ashtagavarga charts, which is called the number chart, you will find uh, Saturn's Ashtagavarga with uh, you know single digit numbers and uh, the least number possible is zero. And the maximum possible for uh, Saturn Ashtavarga is always 7. It is never, uh, it can never be 8. Let us not fill the entire uh, Saturn Ashtavarga here. I am just going to focus on these three signs for a particular reason. And uh, in this case, uh, there are uh, three points here and a zero point here and then a four point here. Suppose if this person has the moon here and therefore this person is a uh, so therefore this person is a Tula Rasi person or a Libra moon sign. That's why I have drawn it here. And this is uh, the so this is the moon sign of this person. Now when Saturn comes here it is son and of your Saturn. And when Saturn is uh, here it is also son and of your Saturn. And even here. So when Saturn moves from enters this sign the seven and a half year Saturn phase starts for all the people of uh, the moon sign Libra or uh, Tula Rasi. So Saturn stays here two and a half years and uh, here for two and a half years and here for two and a half years. The whole, uh, you know, the time taken for Saturn to enter and exit is there for seven and a half years. Is it bad throughout the seven and a half years? So to answer that question, you have to get this uh, Saturn Ashtavarga and then superimpose the numbers on this place on these three signs. So when Saturn comes here it is associated with three points in its own Ashtavarga and then when it comes here it is zero and when it comes here it is associated with number four, four points. So from this you will know that Saturn will be least harmful when Saturn is over this particular sign because the score is four. Anything greater than 3 is good enough. 3, you can say it's neutral, but 0 is really bad. So, this person will have the maximum uh, challenges when Saturn goes through this sign. Here, I mean, when compared to Saturn going over this sign and Saturn going over this sign. So, let's do another example. In this case, one person has got uh, 1 point here and then 2 here and then 0 here. If Saturn's transit involves uh, the in, in the Saturn Ashtagavarga, the numbers z, uh, 1, 2 or 0, then it will be bad. So for this person, the entire sound of your Saturn is likely to be bad. A person having something like this is very lucky because you see that uh, in these two signs there are four points. So for this person, with a score like this 1, 4 and 4, only the first two and a half years of uh, the seven and a half year Saturn is likely to be uh, troublesome. So for this person instead of seven and a half year Saturn, you can even call it as uh, uh, two and a half year Saturn. This is Sarvashtaka Varga, which is a sum total of all the Ashtaka Vargas. And in this you don't find single digit numbers, you always find uh, two digit numbers. And uh, in this example, we have uh, 30 here and 18 here 
and uh, 28 here. In this you will see that the lowest score is over here, 18. So when Saturn comes through this sign, this is the middle part of seven and a half year Saturn, for all the people born in uh, Tula Rasi, right now Saturn is over here as I am doing this video. So all these people, whoever have 18 points here, will find this is, uh, this transit is really challenging. When you do the Sarvashtak Varga, um, you will get one particular, uh, you know, a low score. And if this tallies with the Ashtakavarga of uh, Shani, which we did, uh, um, which we did earlier in this video, if this sign has got the lowest point in Sarvashtakavarga, and also in Saturn's Ashtakavarga, this has scored the lowest point, then this will be really troublesome. Uh, so, uh, the first important point is that whenever you study transits, always have an eye on the Ashtakavarga charts. Uh, if you are studying Saturn transit, then you need two things. Uh, Sarvashtakavarga, which is common, and then have the Saturn Ashtakavarga. Whichever sign has got the lowest point, when Saturn comes to that sign, will be the most challenging. So this is a very simple way of uh, uh, doing it. Uh, you may think that it is so simple uh, to be true, but it is. Uh, I have, uh, over the past 25 years, I have always found that whenever Saturn, whenever Saturn transit coincides with uh, zeros and ones, uh, especially not even two, zeros and ones, then it is really bad. Uh, lots of challenges. And uh, let's say if at the same time the person is also going through a uh, very challenging uh, sub-period also, then you can say that it is uh, definitely the most challenging period in their life. So the advice that I have for you is that whenever you study transits, always uh, you know, keep an eye on the Ashtagvarga too. Do not uh, discard them as um, your you know, numbers because in astrology you always look for planets and in Ashtagvarga there are only numbers. It reminds you somewhat of numerology but it has got nothing to do with it. It is a numerical um, you know, point system but still only related to the planets. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I am going to do a series of uh, videos on Ashtagvarga. Um, I just, uh, uh, today I have just started on that series.